What's up, family? I'm about to um tell y'all a story. See, I like telling stories now. I've been seeing niggas on YouTube. I've been following New Orleans niggas. Shout out to Giggity. <laughs> One love to Giggity, man. <laughs> the nigga uh, Terrence Gangsta Williams. I'm going to make a video about Terrence Gangsta Williams, man. One, one little the giggity, man. Yeah, I've been seeing the niggas been sharing their videos about their neighborhoods and shit like that. All the niggas from New Orleans and all that shit. See, we, Detroit, we got some stories, too. I got some little stories. I ain't gonna share nothing too much or too raw, you know what I mean? Especially if I ain't do the shit, I ain't, I ain't gonna be telling. But, you know, it's a, just like them niggas got giggity and the hot boys and the Dooney boys and, all that shit out there, we got that same shit here, man. Nigga, I had cut those niggas like E Rock, nigga, Chris Diss, nigga, you know what I mean? Bundy Gun, nigga, O Fly, nigga. Shout out to the Six Minutes, nigga. That was like my original Hot Boys, nigga, the Six Minutes, the niggas I grew up under. My big brother, nigga, BT, nigga, um, um, Big Tiger, easy now, man. I can go down to the UNTs, man. Shout out to the UNTs, MD. You know, the big dogs like that. My nigga Don, niggas I still fuck with. You know what I mean? I can talk all day about Linwood. I can go I can go all the way to back of town, Linwood. Nigga, Big Herm, them. Nigga, shout out to them boys on Taylor. Hazelwood, real cutthroat, niggas, man. Big Smoke, them. You know, I, I could... T Go all day. I could go down the street on, on VP. Shout out to the Perry boys, nigga. You know what I mean? I could, <laughs> I got some stories, boy. We got enough but hard hitters around here on Linwood, but I, you know, I, t <laughs> I tell y'all a little funny story about me selling weed. Selling weed used to get dangerous too, man. Niggas be trying to act like um. Uh, like selling weed was beneath certain niggas because they sold certain hard drugs and all that crack and shit and all that but you know um when i was coming up crack crack was getting boomed like by them niggas i named when when they was young in the 80s see detroit fast so crack was booming in the 80s and the early 90s but by the time i was out here crack wasn't like that like i had so crack and, uh, but that shit was slow and back then when you were selling crack nigga you got to fight over it and Niggas was fighting over Custos. <laughs> Our big homies, like my nigga E Rock, he, he he from my street. Shout out to my nigga E Rock, R I H. Shout out to Big Dump Dump. But uh, E Rock, he used to be like nigga, um, nigga, nigga, this my Custo. <laughs> every Custo on Linwood was his Custo, nigga. They let him tell her every time he was out here, nigga, that's my Custo, and and he uh. Nigga, he, but he wear a pop, yeah, he a pop yo ass. He was like that, boy. He, well, you, he see a nigga serving his custom, uh, cut man. He pulling pistols in your face, boy. The, the crack game was treacherous because it was damn near done. I say by um, I say I say about like two, two thousand. Crack was done here, about like ninety nine two. Dude, that crack was done because I remember the drought of '99, man. I'm, that's another story I'm gonna tell about me and my young crew. <laughs> we some wild young niggas, man. Yeah, but but um, yeah, crack was done by the end. Was, but the weed gang was heavy here in Detroit. Like selling weed was like selling crack at times, nigga. That shit used to get funky, nigga, with little weed and shit like this. But but it's one of my little stories when I was young. Some funny shit, man. I was, uh, I had the weed. This when I was, um, 18. Yeah, I was 18. I just had got my car and shit. Like, I had got a car and I was, I was rolling. You know, I had, I, I kept me, I wasn't rolling big, but I keep me like a little ounce and shit like that. Or if I sell out, sometimes I buy like a little half ounce just to sack up a few bags real quick because I was working and cutting hair and everything. So it wasn't my all, but it still used to develop to some money because you were selling this shit fast. You know what I mean? Plus, weed was 
heavy then. Like, nigga, I wouldn't even want no boatload of it back then because you got chances of getting your ass robbed and killed. Niggas used to get killed over half of bows here, man. And shit like that. Bows. It's gonna be the bow, man. And then gonna run in your motherfucking mama house and all that type of shit, boy. Ain't niggas treacherous over that weed. But, um, but I, I, back then, I was just cocking little ounces and shit like that. And, and sacking them up and, and making money, go buy another ounce real quick. You know what I mean? And, uh, <laughs> I had me a sack, and my man's pulled up on me, my nigga Rod. Shout out to my nigga Rod, boy. <laughs> Rod Baby, that's my nigga. Uh, Rod whipped up, and he had the new F-150, nigga. He was getting money. He whipped up on me like, mm. He had one of my big homies in the car. I don't want to name my big homie on this video. Because, you know, something transpired with me and him that day. But he, um, he like, fight, man, shit. Um, my big homie like, fire, you got some fat-ass nickels. This one, when nickels started popping off. Now, I wasn't the first nigga was selling nickels. Because before that, it was all down. He like, shit, I you got some fat-ass nickels, man. I want a couple of them bitches. I ran in the house, grabbed my sack. All right, I'll be back. And then I handed my big homie, this is my, you know, one of my older bros, big, one of my big bros, you know what I mean? This my homeboy, this my homeboy daddy, right now, you know what I mean? His son out here, uncut raw, real soldier, you know, he get that shit from his daddy. So he like, uh, nigga, I want a, uh, I want, I want a couple bags, you know what I mean? I'm like, all right, bet. I, I ran in the house, grabbed my sack, came back out, boom, ran up to the truck. I hop in the back of the truck, and, and I just reached, because I knew how many bags I had in my sack. But back then, we didn't even weigh it. I mean, we ain't weigh our bags. They wasn't a certain amount. We just stuff them until the ounce gone, and then you count extra pros. That's how you got your money. Like, if you make a, a $30 out your motherfucking sack, a $40 out your ounce extra, then you, you, you got pros. You put that to the side, grab another one. You know, as long as you're running through a couple... A couple in a day, a couple ounces in a day, you straight. You making little pop chip Jordan money. <laughs> so I had my sack, so I hopped in the truck, and this my this my big my big dog, my big bro. So I just handed I handed him a whole bunch of bags in his hand. I ain't count them, you know. I just handed the nigga like about five six bags. Yeah, I just reached in my sack, handed him some bags, cause you pick one, pick the fattest one, because we ain't well, you know what I mean? Whichever ones look fat. So he. He got him some bags and put the rest in my hand. And I, I put it up in the sack. Like, okay. I hot shake them niggas' hands. I'm out of here. Bam. So when I go in the house, I count my bags. He bought two bags from me. And when I got in the house, I counted my bags. And my shit was like one short or something. <laughs> that bitch was like, I'm like, I know my nigga. He, man, that nigga got him. He took one of my bags, bitch ass nigga. And this is my older homie, you know what I mean? I'm like, oh, I know that nigga ain't take one of my bags. Uh, so I, I, I called my man who he was with, and he ain't answer his little cell phone, dog. I'm like, what the fuck? I know them niggas ain't trying to get down on me. So I had a, I had a, um, I had a two two, but it was in a, it was in a, um, uh, a thirty two frame, a pearl handle. I never forget that bitch because I had got it from my big cousin aunt. One love to Ant, man. Ant got killed, man, back in 2001, man. Right after he gave me that gun, he got killed, man. Damn, man, I miss my nigga Ant, man. All right, H cousin Ant, man. I had got into some funk. Ant brought me a little heater, just, you know, and I already had a couple heaters. Back then, this, this was the heaters I had. I had a, I had, I had a 2 2 rifle. That bitch was a, like a, it was a carbine. It was a 2-2, two -two. that bitch took 12 bullets, nigga. That bitch was a beast. I, I had the handle shaved off that bitch with tape wrapped around it. <laughs> that bitch used to be spitting too. <laughs> I had a, um, I had a Mossberg. I had a, a Mossberg from my daddy. My daddy had left a Mossberg here when he had moved back when I was 11. And she, every time she moved, that bitch was mine. I used to be playing with that bitch <laughs> to the point when I got older. That bitch, that was my heater. So he came back and got that bitch from me when I was about like 19 or something. He needed it for his house. But I had that bitch all the way to I was 19. <laughs> nigga, that mossy nigga. 
I, I had a Mossberg, and I had a, then my cousin aunt gave me that too, too. Back then, we didn't need no high power shit. Ain't too many niggas had high power shit, or homeboys. Like, if if I needed a K or something, I used to go around there. Shout out to my man, Big Spoon. I went and got his 10-shot K one day, and that bitch came in handy. You know what I mean? We had Ks. You know, our older homies, our older bros had Ks and four fives. Don't you know what I mean? Shit like that. But you know, I, I was a young G. See, I had my little um, two two. I still got remnants of that two two. Hold on, I'll, I'll be right back. Cause I was just hold on. This my um, uh, this my son room. This my old closet though. This was my room when I was growing up. Big old closet, boy. Oh, they got my old gators from my prime, my prime suit. Oh, look. They got that. Remember them? The S dots. Ha 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 ha. I remember I had the S dots. Yeah, but this old remnants of that 2 2. I was in here the other day. Me and my son was looking for toys. I still got 2 2 bullets in this bitch. These are 2 2 longs. That's what my heater took. 2 2 longs. Look, it's a whole box of these bitches in here. Two two long rifle bullets. Yeah, oh, here go. Here go a picture of my old little chick. Uh, I had cold ones. This was my chick in the uh, ninth, tenth grade, baby Kim. I need to holler at Kim. She she still found like this too, baby. <laughs> yeah, this is my old closet, baby. My my old tapes. Well, I had way more. I got a box of tapes over there. Boxes of shit in here. Look, I've been representing, nigga. This was, what year was this? 95, nigga. Linwood, baby. I drew this shit. VP. This is what we used to call ourselves DSP. I forgot what that meant. But we used to make up gangs every week. <laughs> Yeah, but I just wanted to show y'all this book. Me and my son was looking in here. I'm like, God damn, boy, I got books all on the floor from when I was young, man. Yeah, but I'm going to pause and get back to the story. Um, But yeah, where I was at. um, My homeboy, y'all. So I came in and counted my bag. And this is where I was at, too. Right here. You know, this is the house I grew up in. So all my memories right here, baby. Right here up on the mantelpiece. That's where I grabbed that tutu from, nigga. I used to hide it behind my picture. My mama used to have pictures all across here. And I, I used to keep I used to keep that little tutu behind the pictures. I used to keep my Mossberg right up under my bed. And I forgot I used to keep my tutu rifle probably in the closet. Yup. <laughs> yeah, back then. Oh, my mama used to call me the Terminator. <laughs> But yeah, I grabbed the, the two I grabbed the two two from behind there because I counted I counted my bags and they were short. I'm like, man, that nigga took an extra bag, bitch ass nigga. This was my big homie. I was mad as hell. I ran in here, I grabbed that two two, that revolver nigga, and I <laughs> I took out the dough. Boom, and I was I was looking for my boy. He had a white F one fifty. And it it only took me like two minutes to minute to realize the bag was gone. And and I hopped in my car. I just had got the Buick. Nigga, the uh, I had a tan Buick LeSabre. Nigga, I hopped in that bitch, nigga, and, and, and boom, ride through the hood. And I see my man's on LaSalle. He driving up LaSalle, but he like two streets ahead of me. But I could tell that's the back of that nigga truck. I'm like, this nigga ain't answering his phone. Them niggas, they, man, they got a bag off me, bitch. Think they slick. So, <laughs> so I smashed the gas. And I'm trying to flag my man's down. But this nigga take off. Like, I'm behind him. I ain't get on the side of him, but I'm behind him. And this nigga take off. Boom. He, we, we, I'm behind following the nigga from goddamn blame. This nigga, this nigga go fast. He in that F-150 truck. That bitch way faster than my view. But it seemed like he was running from me. That's how my mind felt. Because even though he was two streets ahead of me, he hit the gas on that bitch. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he must look in the river you see me. Cause that nigga hit the gas. Boom! He was crossing Claremont so goddamn fast. <laughs> Ooh, I I tried to follow that nigga. Turned down Chicago. Ooh, I, I couldn't catch up. Well, I'm like, bitch. I'm like them niggas. That nigga got a bag. What the fuck? He running from me? Now I think my big homie must was telling that nigga pull off or something. I I, I wanted to pop that nigga so bad. I was mad as hell over that motherfucking bag. So I ain't see my the uh, the next day. I seen my nigga ride. And I went up on him like, bitch, 
nigga, y'all, nigga, did you know Big Homie? I don't want to say my Big Homie name, you know what I mean? I'm like, nigga, did it? You know that nigga, he took a bag from me, I think, dog. The fuck? And you was moving. He like, man, I ain't see you, dog. I, I don't know. I was just driving. I ain't see you behind. I'm like, man, y'all, you seen me, bro. Because it was like you was running from me, nigga. I was mad as hell at my nigga, right? He like, man, I I swear to God, man, I, I wasn't running from you, big fire. I ain't no baby. Damn. Yeah, you know, he he was my nigga. That's the only way he smoothed it out with me. I was mad as hell. And, and I'm like, okay, man, you know, fuck it, man. And I'm like, when I see dog, man, he going to have to cough up that money, nigga. It's going to be a motherfucking problem. I was mad as hell, but I ain't seen him. My big dog, he do so much shit. I don't know where he went in the hood for a while. Even before he came and got that bag, I ain't seen him in a while. So I ain't see this nigga to nigga uh, like a year or two later. Up on 12th at Rite Aid. <laughs> and when I seen him, I'm like, here this nigga go, you know, damn. I ain't never forget, man. I, I, I must have petty, nigga. I, I ain't never forget that little bag. That bag of weed, nigga. So I ain't seen this nigga like a year or two later. And we we up on, on 12th at Rite Aid. And we in the lines and shit. And I look, I, I look over there at him. And I, I stared at him for like 10 seconds. And he stared at me. For like 10 seconds. And I'm like, I ain't got nothing on me. And I know this boy, you know what I mean? My my The nigga I'm talking about, he ain't used to play, you know. I remember he was around there beefing with, you know, shout out to another one of my big homies, my nigga uh, Smelly Ruffin. These De David Ruffin grand grandkids. Smelly Ruffin was an older nigga with the, he had the balls. And them niggas was around, I remember them niggas was around there shooting shots at each other. They hated each other. <laughs> I know how my dog was cut, you know what I mean? My nigga who, who got the bag from me, got got the little bag from me. I know how he was cut. So I stared. I'm like, shit, this nigga got a heater. I already know how he is. I ain't got no heater. So I, I, I spoke to him like, what's up? I shook, after we stared at each other for about 10 seconds, I spoke first. Like, what up, though? And then he he spoke, smiled, like, what's up, like, baby? Like, shit, you know? I'm like, nigga, I ain't seen you in a while, you know? I want to bring up that bag, but I'm like, shit, I don't want to... You know, start no shit and big dog pop me in this motherfucker. Ha 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 I ain't right, got my thing on me. By then I graduated to bigger things, you know, three fifty sevens and shit like that. You know, I mean I ain't had shit on me up in there. I'm like, what he like, yeah, baby shit. You know, he like, you still cutting the hair? I'm like, hell yeah, you know, you come through, nigga, you know. In my mind, I ain't forgot about that bag, even it's been two some years. I forgot about that bit, but, uh, you know, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, I still be cutting. He's like, yeah, man, I'm back in the hood. Nah, man, I'm going to come through there and fuck with you. I'm like, all right. So he didn't came, he didn't came to the crib, you know what I mean? And, and he didn't got a haircut, and I still ain't talk about that shit with him. You know what I mean? I kind of was happy to see the nigga, even though that shit had, but if years done passed, nah. I still was, you know, I was kind of happy to see him because I've been knowing this nigga all my life, you know what I mean? He my, he my big bro, you know what I mean? He used to hang on the corner of my street with the other big dogs. So, uh, you know, I was kind of happy to see him, and he came and got a haircut and shit, and then he like, oh, you still got the weed? Yeah, yeah. He, hey, I bought a bag from me then, you know what I mean? I still had the weed going, and he bought a bag from me and shit, and, you know, so he was he was back in rotation with me. But it was still in the back of my mind. That <laughs> nigga took that bag when I was 18, dog. That little bag, bag of weed, dog. I'm like, man. So one night he called me for some weed. He like, man, you got some good, you got some weed around there, fly. I'm like, yeah, come get it. And I was just sacking up. I, I used to sack up out the Timberland box. I used to have my um, zips in the Timberland box and my baggies. Then around this time. I was copping heavy, you know what I mean. I was, I had, um, shit. I had some, um, I had, I had a lot of weed then, you know what I mean. I, I was sacking up on my Timberland box in the basement, just when I was doing um, three for tens, and, and, and he he came and he like, um, he came to the back door to get a bag, and I it hit my mind. Oh my god, I remember this bitch stole that bag. Nigga, I sold that nigga a bag full of sticks and seeds because he used to be dark in my backyard where you come cop it. And I, I had opened the door. From, What's up, baby? We shook hands. And, and he, he bought a couple bags from me. And I made one of them bags all sticks and seeds. 
Well, here you go. And I ain't do the three for ten with him. <laughs> I ain't showing him no love because he don't. He bought a couple bags and one of them bitches was stems, nigga. It wasn't even, it wasn't a bud in that bitch. I probably put a pinch of shake in it. And, and, and the rest of that shit was all sticks and seeds. I'm like, here you go. He like, all right. He shook my hand. He went off. I'm like, yeah, I got his bitch ass back for that fact. And he called me like about 10 minutes later. Like, what, what's up, Fly? I'm like, and when he, I see the phone ring and I see his him, I'm like, man, this nigga better not say nothing to me about that sticks and seed ass bag. We're going to have a problem. You know what I mean? And <laughs> so I'm going to tell him what he did. And he, he like, well, you still around there? I'm like, yeah, I'm still over here. He like, okay, I'm about to come get another bag. He like, oh, he like I want to buy another bag. I'm like, come on. And he, when he came to the door, I was ready for him. I'm like, this nigga better not be on no funny shit or with no bullshit. It's about to go down. And when he came to the door, he handed me another $5 and bought another bag of weed. And I sold it to him. And he ain't had no problem. And we ain't had no problem since then. But I got him back for that <laughs> for that weed bag he stole. That's the moral of the story. <laughs> and he, he bought a bag. And that's how I knew. He knew he took that bag. He still remember that shit. He stole that bag that motherfucking night. You know what I mean? But that's that's my nigga. I see him now. Ain't nothing but love. One love to him. You know, we just grew up around some shark. And that, I'm just showing you what type of nigga I was too, man. I ain't like taking those shorts. You know what I mean? I ain't bothered nobody, but that shit fuck with me for years. I'm like, nigga, I, I got to get some get back for that goddamn bag. <laughs> it was one petty ass bag of weed too, dog. Yeah, but I ain't used to take those shorts, man. But that, that's just a quick story right quick, man. You know what I mean? Yo, uh, one love family. I'm going to come with some more stories too, man. Little shit. And I ain't going to tell about no real shit, but that was a, a one of my little weed stories, man. Yo, with one love family.